John, it's a pleasure to be here. Tell me about yourself. Well, right now I'm currently a student. I'm getting an associate's in economy and an associate's in accounting. Uh, I wanted both of those aspects because I know that in the business world, economy and accounting are both really big aspects and understanding how things work. So uh, honestly, I've learned a lot these past few months because I'm actually creating my own app. Uh, I'll sum it up for you, make it nice and quick. It's the personal fitness app. You know, it's for trainers and trainees. And uh, what makes this different than a lot of things is there's going to be a verification system. You know, you can go on Instagram and you can go to YouTube and you can look up videos and exercises and meal plans, but there's no way of actually knowing how good they are. So with this, it's pretty much bringing an aspect that no other platform has brought with review systems, uh, ratings, and all those good things that trainers and trainees can all utilize. So I'm really hoping for the best. Define success. So Royal American is honestly a very successful company. Uh, you guys are what I believe success is. Success is when you create wealth for not only yourself, but for others. So in your guys' case, you guys have the resources, you guys have the money, and you guys have the knowledge. You bring it all back to the customers and your clients, honestly. You know, you have seminars and you have meetings very regularly, and uh, they're really, really educational. And I can tell that just watching the videos, you guys really do care about what you do. How do you handle conflict? conflict i handle conflict almost every single day um literally the other day i was out on the boat with a, a police officer uh, one of my fellow officers and uh we caught up to one of these boats it was swerving around you know it was being really loud it wasn't obeying all the traffic laws of, of the lake and uh when we got there everyone was pretty much intoxicated you know every, everybody was uh well in doubt with their alcohol, we'll say that. And so, you know, we, we told them respectfully, hey guys, you know, everybody here, you guys, you guys have all been drinking a little too much. We don't think you can operate the vessel. We're gonna have to escort you back to the beach. Everybody started getting really mad. They started throwing a fit. Oh, you can't do this. But honestly, the best way that I handled it was, you know, I got up and I said, hey guys, you, you know, you got two options. You can either come with us be escorted on a pers personal state boat all the way back to the beach and enjoy your day, or you can get a ticket and you can ride in the back of a cop car and go to jail for the rest of the day. Obviously, they chose option A, and there was no problem. So honestly, I deal with things like that all the time that is just part of working at the lake, and it really has helped me get out of a lot of situations just because I've been in so many. Who are your role models? I have two role models right now. It's cliche, but it is Royal American and uh, Jeff Bezos. So Royal American, just because you guys share the knowledge, you know, you guys have all the resources and you share them, which I respect so much because growing up, that's something that I've been taught, you know, there's is one thing uh, creating wealth for yourself, but when you start creating wealth for others, that's where it really makes an impact. And uh, Jeff Bezos is my other role model just because he created the world's largest multi-marketing app and or company in the world, you know? So it's something where, how can you not admire that? What do you hope to accomplish personally and professionally here? I personally just hope to make everything run much smoother in your business. Learning about managerial accounting and different types of accounting, I understand that. That part and, and uh, aspect of the business can be really complicated and something that a lot of people don't want to deal with. Thankfully, I'm really good at dealing with it. So you guys don't have to worry about it. I can whip up so many different types of things to make everything so clear cut and, and, and on paper and accessible for you guys so that we can make better decisions and you guys know exactly where your money's going. What do you do in your spare time? Spare time. Uh, in my spare time, I, well, when I'm not at work, because I work full time, and when I'm not at school doing homework, because I'm at school full time, uh, I like to catch up on 
different accounting aspect skills because you know managerial accounting is one aspect but when you learn all the different types of accounting when you get into treasuries and you really understand what it is to be an accountant it really helps you be really well-rounded and uh, can help you branch off you know if you guys need more than a managerial accountant i could be that person what is the most difficult situation you've encountered and how did you handle it the most difficult situation I've ever dealt with was being a lifeguard. Um, one day I was working in a tower and it was towards the end of the day and I was locking up my tower and it was extremely hard to lock it up. I don't know why. It just took me probably five minutes to lock it up. So once I eventually got it all done, I started walking towards my car and literally as I'm walking towards the car, I hear a boat just zooming down the lake. It's going so fast. And I hear, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I can just tell that it hit a really big wake because there was plenty of other boats on the water. Water was super choppy. So I turn around, I see a boat completely flipped over, people laying out in the water, people screaming. And so I go, wow, okay. I get my medical stuff, I get my paddleboard, and I go out there. Um, I get there and thankfully, most of the people had life jackets on. There was a few life jackets uh, scattered in the water. So the remaining people, I put those on, but the mom kept screaming, oh, my kids are under there, my kids are under there. So being the lifeguard that I was, you know, got my goggles on and I started diving. And so uh, the boat was about nose out of the water. So it, it was really close to sinking and it was slowly, slowly, slowly going down. And so probably the third or fourth dive, uh, I came up and I found that they were in a pocket of air and it was completely pitch black. So, you know, I, I guide them. I say, you know, hey guys, relax. You don't have to do anything. I'm just going to grab you and I'm going to guide you out of there. And they were screaming too. They were super stressed, but I handled the situation pretty well. I got both of them out safely, put them on my paddleboard. Uh, my boss and everybody came by. <laughs> he gave me a good pat on the back. I, I filled out my paperwork and uh, I actually got some promotions from that, from handling the situation so well. So... That was a crazy situation. I'm just really glad that good things happened out of it. Why should we hire you? Give us a few reasons. So, I love the company. I've watched all your guys' videos. I've learned so many different aspects of the business world. I haven't really looked too much into fiduciary advisor aspects, but now that I've watched your guys' videos, I really understand a lot more. Uh, I love the business. I love your guys' morals. I love how you share knowledge and uh, I meet all the requirements that you, you have laid out. You know, I'm a managerial accountant. Uh, I have degrees in both economy and accounting and I'm continuing to learn every single day and going through new situations. Again, thank you, John, for your time.